It's the 21st century, and they still can't get decent internet. My grandparents live on the top of a mountain in eastern Kentucky and get 500 meg down. My parents live less than an hour from one of the three largest cities in Kentucky and can't get it. Uh, you uh, there it is, Dev. You forgot to hit a button. Yo, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> I have like six things I gotta do at once. All right, don't judge me. You make it sound like you're not the one who made the intro all technical and difficult. <laughs> okay, maybe I did. All right. What's your point? My point is, I'm waiting for Soy to pop up in the window in his background because I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Like the look, like the Nicolas Cage thing, like where he's just like, oh like yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> you know, potentially. Hi everybody, I'm your host Dorky Dev. Uh, today I'm joined by Red Chair, uh, Ghosty Tech, and Shriek Cups. Hi. How's everyone Hello. doing? Chair, how about you? Well said. Good. Is this the Republican National Convention again? We're talking to a Nicky Chair. <laughs> Oh god, it's hard open, I love it. <laughs> I'm not Clint Eastwood, am I? Well, I have a Clint Eastwood poster right there. I mean, we just need that poster to start talking, and there we go. <laughs> god. No. Sad thing, sad thing is, that was, what, seven years ago, and shit's only gotten crazier. <laughs> we, people should have seen the signs coming. <laughs> so, usually by now Zoe has insulted me at least twice. Yeah, and then we started on a tangent based off of that insult. Yeah. Yeah. What do we do now? Zoe's not here to keep the show going. Well, usually if he's on the show, that's usually what happens. If he's not on the show, that's not what happens. Ah, so we have Red Chair. Red Chair. I'm a fan, though. I mean, it's... They're, they can produce good content if they do their stuff right. <laughs> I, um, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the partnership with uh, Brown Box in the background there with Red Chair. Um, I'm sure it'll go well. Very well. Uh, I don't know. Brown Box has only gone so far. They've had a lot of time to get there. Can you already tell we've let this joke go on too far? <laughs> this show? Go on a joke for too long? Hell no, never, not once. How dare you insinuate anything of that style? I can can I ask a real question here? Sure. Hey! Oh, never mind, it's that screen. We're fine now. Real questions over. <laughs> yep. Yep. Game. Well, are gone. It was good having you on Red Chair, uh, Brown Box. Hope you do well as well. Um, Support the stream, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Drop a follow. Tracking Smash. number. Smash that like button. <laughs> oh. uh, so how's it going? How's the, how'd the intro go without me here to just like... Uh, we just... We, we didn't even realize you were gone. So the red chair did a really good job of covering yeah. for you. Yeah, it's well, like a bunch like of five times. Well, that's easy. That's just the <laughs> easiest thing you gotta do. Like... Oh. Brown so how's everybody doing? I already asked. <laughs> I know. I'm just you're, being difficult. Yeah, you're late for the conversation, man. What the hell? Listen here. Some things happen. Real Red life chair problems. had some really philosophical things to say, though, when I asked that question. So no, it doesn't. Okay, okay, it just... Speaking of chairs, how many computer chairs or leather chairs or couches does one person need in a room? As many as... I mean, their asses in them sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Do you have gas hey. the streams? I'm curious now. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's in my living room, actually. Damn. Also, hi, Casey. Hi, Dragon. And hi, Frankie. Jesus. Look at that sub wall, man. Dude, that sub wall is beautiful. Sub wall. Oh. Jesus, yes. the latency right now. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's no, it's bad. no, no, no. Like it's fucking there. Yeah, it's almost it's like, instant for me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh. Like one, three seconds, four seconds. That's not bad. That's yeah for Twitch. That's 
That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. God, what have you done? <laughs> I just love Frankie randomly throwing a T in there. Good shit. Good job, Frankie. <laughs> Then he Rebuild. does a bunch of E's, and then it'll be... Trest. 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 Oh, God. Try stop. Breaking. I can't. This is painful. Breaking the wall. Is it the fourth wall? Ooh. Mr. Oh. Gorbachev? <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down the fourth wall. <laughs> tear him out! Oh, God. <laughs> New Deadpool line right here, right there. <laughs> Dude, if they use that in the next Deadpool, that'd be great. Yeah. Oh, did you see where they mentioned that there's uh, enough uh, to take the Pikachu bloopers to make a full R-rated version? Oh, God. I mean, there needs to be an R-rated version. All I want is for Pikachu to say that. That's it. That's all I need. <laughs> I did love the trailer. I assume you guys have seen that by now. Nope. Or not the trailer. Steven sorry, the, uh, yeah, sorry, no, no. the sorry, not the trailer. The uh, they released like the full movie, so like it's on oh. YouTube. It's like number seven on trending yesterday, and you go click on it, and it's an hour and something long. It's got the full intro, like all like the studios and stuff, and then and then after it goes, it's just Pikachu dancing for like an hour and a half. Pikachu do, doing the uh, key and, key and peel uh, skip. From yeah. Oh, it's so good. Like, I saw that. I was like, oh, no, it isn't. It isn't. And then I saw, like, R. Reynolds up in the top left. Like, oh, God. This it's is actually. And they release his screener. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. Ron Reynolds is fucked. And then, like, it just started dancing. I'm like, okay. <sighs> we did. That is brilliant marketing, by the way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yo, Frankie, thank you for the resub. <laughs> Yeah, I think that might have been the first time I've ever like went to watch a movie online and been not and been more happy that it wasn't the full movie that I was <laughs> actually clicked on. Same. It was great though. Like, I I can't wait to see it this weekend. Um, cause that's yep. what me and Steven are reviewing this Sunday, so that'll be nice. Plugging a different show that we have. Um, <laughs> when the opportunity arises. Um, but no, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, maybe they can start a cool franchise from this, you know? The you know, this new, Smash this Brothers, new IP. MC, the Smash Brothers Extended Universe? Well, I mean, Pokemon's a pretty new IP. It doesn't have a lot of ground in the movie business yet, so we, we can see where it goes with this. There are literally 13 Pokemon movies. There's more than that. Is there? There's gotta be more than 13. Don't count Pokemon uh, Detective Pikachu. 18. Called it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a full fledged adult level of movies. If you watch one a year, you're. you're hey, like, it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Frankie, thanks for the uh, gifted sub to Sweet Cut 5. As, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Subs, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the mod doesn't really count as breaking the wall. It's just pushing a piece of the wall, you know. Yeah, it's like the uh, the top of the barracks, the balustrades, you know, the area where it goes down and then comes back up. The mod is like the little down area, you know. Yeah, totally that makes sense, right? Castle structure. Yeah. Did not expect that during this podcast today. You're welcome. The more you know. Damn it! I should have that on like a button ready to go. <laughs> At least the Coming sound effect. The <laughs> <laughs> no, like it needs to be like a fade out, and then the whole like. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, agree. <laughs> I agree. And then the, us fade back in, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh god. I, yeah, I heard that Uno's two ninety nine right now. I still can't get it because Ubisoft still hasn't let me get into my fucking Ubisoft account. So why don't you just Same. make a new one? Because I have a shit ton of stuff on there. I have all of my like unlocked stuff from like first Assassin's Creed onward through Ubisoft games. <laughs> this is why I like Steam. Right? Steam's so much easier. They're too, they're too, they're too, they're too uh, poor, uh, two point verification system is so much simpler than Ubisoft's. Let's talk about Epic Games then. Yeah. It's not. It's not hey, Rocket League. I love Rocket League. Right. God. <laughs> you know, I had, 
I had an, an EA account uh, that was like apparently hacked by like some Russians, and uh, I just I just gave it away. Like I just like I'm done with it. I just I mean, kind of like, stopped. You already did the legwork. Go ahead, take it. No, I well, I mean, it. like all the games that I had are now on EA Access. So if I really want to play one of their shit games, I can just go pay five bucks and be done with it. <laughs> yeah. In the future, so. As long as you don't have, you didn't have all your information on there still, right? No, no, no. I I never had a, a credit card associated with it, so I just You're finally gave it up after like three hours on hold. I just said screw it. Yeah, I remember we whenever someone. In, I remember when someone in our community, uh, <laughs> Frankie, excuse me, uh, lost his account, and I think it was his Fortnite account, and uh, Epic was just like dragging their feet while some dude was just actively. <laughs> You see my dog in the background? No, no. Frankie's just losing his shit in Discord, in the, oh. in the chat. She's like, I, I knew exactly where I this story hacked. was going. And he did get hacked. Uh, it, was, it was one of those things, you, you, you saw it unfold on Twitter that day. You're like, oh, yeah. my, my, my Epic account got hacked. It got into my, my PayPal account somehow. After that. They bought a bunch of fucking loot llamas. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing that really got me was like after that whole day and uh, Epic wasn't like helping him out, I showed him how to unlink it through PayPal. And he's like, nah, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm like, well, buddy, <laughs> I hope, hope it, the next eight hours are very good to you. And I don't think they were. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of loot boxes, do you guys see, uh, there's like a, I think they, they're trying to introduce a bill to the house or something to, uh, ban those if the game targets kids. Yep. So. Thank fucking God, finally. Well. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think they. That'd be nice. They need to do it the same way that Overwatch does their loot boxes. Well, and the thing is, yeah. they, they have to be transparent about the statistics of win. Like, of, like, stuff you're going to get. Like, yeah. if you're as transparent about it and it's not literally just like you don't have to open a hundred to get one like super rare item um, then you know, like, make it make it at least fair for the money you're spending on it. Well, the thing I like about the uh, Overwatch loot boxes, is I don't know if you you uh, are knowledgeable on the subject but basically, the way they work is like they, you, you just they have the pool of what you're getting, basically. Like, there's commons, rares, uh, epics, and legendaries. Like, usually, before you see any duplicates anymore, you have to completely, like, get all of that level. Like, all the common shit. Like, before you see another a duplicate yeah. common, you have to get all the commons, all the rares, all the epics. Which is great, because, like, you're usually not going to, like, get a duplicate. It's great. Yeah, no, and and if you don't, and, and if you get a slot that you didn't want, usually it's just extra gold, which helps you buy shit. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. which it, it, yeah. I've, I've always liked their loot boxes. I will say that. Yes. Yeah. There's one thing I felt they've done well since the get go. Another game that I've played that hasn't had terrible loot box system has been Ep uh, Apex. It doesn't have a terrible loot box system, at least for me. I've had decent yeah, luck on them. Well, the thing with like those loot boxes is that they're not they don't give you an advantage or that anything too. they're just skins like yeah i hate the whole idea of like pay to win it, yeah like that's pay to win hurt me. yeah i don't care if your gun i don't care if your gun's pink gold purple it, i don't it doesn't matter to me if you, you want to have a loot box to make that that's fine but when we spawn into a game and i spawn in like i feel like it's PUBG, and i like walked into a room and found a gas can and then the other guy walks in the next room and found like an ak and like a level three everything it's kind of the same thing when you spawn into a game with loot boxes Pay yeah. yeah well i mean that's the, that was the problem with battlefront 2 which apparently has made a recovery after everything um i mean i like the original battlefront 2 more well, duh, I mean, that game is... <laughs> oh, yeah. That, is, that game that is, is still $10. It's still good. It's so good. And that was trending on Steam last week. Like, me, yeah. me and Zoe played it, what, two weeks ago? Was it? Yeah, about a week or two ago. Yeah. No, we had a great time. It was just me and him, and it was weird. But it was fun. <laughs> like, we mm -hmm. just... 
ran around either shooting, you know, droids or fighting each other, and it was a lot of fun. Um, flying, flying ships on mouse and keyboard is a real, real challenge, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not even gonna argue that. Like, <laughs> like I, I flew stri like the, the the Star Destroyers are so massive, but <laughs> I always just went straight into them. Like a, like a shitty kamikaze pilot. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna fly to your hangar and kill everything, Dev. That's that's where, that's that's what where we both I'm at. Did. We point. both went into our, each, our opposite hangers and said, may the best man win. <laughs> is oh. Essentially what happened. Yeah, basically. Well, speaking of EA and disappointing flying mechanics, uh, did you guys play Anthem? No, 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 but it's been doing it's it's I tried Anthem. I I, I just tried the EA premiere for like a week or for a month and then like y'all y'all give Anthem a shot because I'm a huge Mass Effect guy. So like you know I'll see what buy I'll see what Mass Effect died for, why not? And uh, uh <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't Jesus. it wasn't good. Oh Yeah, no, I from what I've heard the mechanics of the shooting is Decent. Yeah, the flying is really entertaining, and there's some mm -hmm. cool story elements in it, but it's such a shambled together game. Yeah, it feels like everything else that they've put out. It's just pieced together. So, well, oh, that's because sad. like if you read the Kotaku thing, which I know Steven did, um, the uh, whole Bioware magic that they believed oh, in over yeah. there, mm -hmm. um, Bioware magic, where yeah. like they've with uh, Dragon uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, they were like, hey, we managed to pull this off last minute. That's because we have Bioware magic. We can do this anytime. <laughs> um, and that's essentially what they tried to pull the belief of off of uh, the um, Andromeda and with yeah. Anthem. Uh, because they were like, we've done it before. We can pull it off again. Just crunch. Um, which, by the way, Fuck Crunch, dude. That is... I feel bad Captain for Crunch, anyone in that. However. Yeah, I feel bad yeah, for people you, that I mean, work in game Crunch. development. Come on, man. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that That industry right now is just rough. Just have to yeah. Know that stuff. Well, yeah, they want everything done. They want a, you know, a game that's polished and, and released, well, to an extent, that they can sell you a you know, DLC and loot boxes on day one. But they want a game, you know, Right in a five-year development game, they want it out in three, and it just doesn't happen. Oh, and that's that's it's it's one of those things that like me and Steven talked about it on Sunday a little bit with the uh, Sonic movie. Um, is that you know if they don't have a pre-rendered different version of Sonic already available to work on, those artists are gonna go through hell getting this movie out by November. See. See, I don't think so, because, I, well, yeah, maybe, I guess, because November, I, I always just kind of thought, like, they're just like, oh, there's a Pikachu movie out, oh, shit, oh, shit, everybody get your stuff together, we got a Sonic movie out now, <laughs> and then well, they just threw something together and put it in a trailer. Well, like, I, they, I would, I would been working say there's nothing done anyway. Well, I think they started production after Pikachu movie was announced. Hmm. Um, yeah. But, like, the, the cool thing is, with the Pikachu movie, they hired that artist who was doing, doing the live action, uh, or the, like, realistic Pokemon art, um, which what blew up a lot on Facebook if, uh, when that was still as, mm. if, like, the, the pinnacle of social media. Um, <laughs> and, it, it, like, he managed to get hired because of it for that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, which is great, because the movie looked fantastic. Like, the, right, the Pokemon right. looked good. Sonic, on the other hand, didn't. But at the same time, I still wanted to see how it went with that version of Sonic. Yeah, I think it would have been okay. I wanted to see Jim Carrey's back break from carrying a film um, again. I still think it's going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's, it's gonna be literally going to be the Jim Carrey show. And <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> It's gonna be rough. No, no two ways about it. Um, depending on how they redesign Sonic 2, we'll see as well. Because, like, the thing is, from one of the angles from the original trailer, I pointed out to Steven, is that it looks like where Sonic 
from the uh, Werewolf Sonic game mm. that came out. That forward angle where his, his, like, his brow's real down, just looking forward. It looks like they just took that version of Sonic from the Werewolf game and went, what if we made this more human-like? Yeah, it I thought looks, Sonic with teeth was weird. It looks like the combination of human that teeth. and the, the meme of the child wearing the Sonic costume just molded together. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's exactly what it looks like. Like, anatomically, it's the kid in the costume, and it's honestly terrifying. Yeah. Do you think they actually got a kid to run around in, like... A little yeah. CGI green suit? Yeah. No, it, no, it was it's actually... A it was actually just Tyrion. <laughs> just, Peter, Peter, Peter Dinklage is... Peter Dinklage is Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Let's hope he didn't voice it like he did Ghost the first time. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> There's a relic over there. Nah, Sonic's got the Westerosian accent. I think that would be better. I mean, I'm just... I, I'm hoping for it to be either so bad it's good, or it's good. Like, I think Captain Reed's going to be here in a second. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let him know just to hop in. I have things ready to go. So. Yeah, and I've done that before, too, with the whole streamer mode thing and, and uh, Discord. It happens. <laughs> Luckily, my phone has a metal piece on it that vibrates my entire desk, so I don't really <laughs> lose it. See, for me, it's that, like, I I normally keep things sort of in stream mode because I don't have my, like, notifications on there for noise. Because mm. I'm already, like, a lot of times if I'm in a Discord, I'm already glued to it. Because I have three monitors, so I have the privilege of having yeah. Discord right there so I can see what room I'm in and see who who's hopped in. Right. Um, it's, very, it's very rare someone hops into a call without me noticing um, for longer than like three to five seconds. <laughs> um, Soe has pulled it off before because I was really involved in a game. What um, did I do? Hopped into the Discord call I was in without me noticing for like longer than oh, five seconds. On his, creep it on his Discord. Oh but, no, the best thing to do is when Dev is in like full stream mode, he's like, like especially if he's playing see if he uses to like hop into his discord because he won't get the notification and then get like really close to your mic and just whisper wake up <laughs> i know exactly who it is every time too I'm just yeah like... but he shudders like you get the watching reaction on stream because he's like oh god <laughs> it's just a quick sometimes it's just it's not even that anymore it's more of a hey see if this works properly hey damn it hey, yo I don't... that was box is correct oh give me a second you guys, you guys yeah, aren't all the boxes should... wrong. Shut up. Hey, if we're gonna be fair, I technically can use this. <laughs> Get the mustache and the goatee again. <laughs> Get it ready. Stop. I am so <laughs> Not again. Not again. Hey, that was that was a great idea, and you know it. And then we never followed it up. <laughs> I mean, Halloween is happening this year, right? Ooh. Do we have anything going on on Halloween this year? The Avengers, oh. duh. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. All right, everyone's in the right box. There we go. Nice. Right. Fix it. I'm gonna hope it fixes <laughs> the other. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit that other one. Uh, shoot. Give me a second. It's, uh, how's it going, Cap? Mr. Reed. It's going good. Good. That's good. Yeah. I made some, uh... Oop. Oh, you cut you out, know? by the way. Your your noise gate's cutting you out. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I realized a lot was going on inside of the group chat. While I was while I was away cooking some pasta. Uh, pasta is a decent excuse to cook me some stuff. That's just pretty damn good. Oh, man. So the other day... Now that we're talking about food, the other day I made banana bread. It was mm -hmm. really good, yeah, and it's I already know. gone. Like I made it yesterday, if not two days ago, and it's legit <laughs> just like gone already. And it was a giant That's... loaf of bread. You know, banana bread <laughs> when it's moist and soft. Oh, it's delicious. It has yes. chocolate in there and a little bit of oh. cinnamon. And 
<laughs> Great. Now I want banana bread. Yeah. Welcome to my life for the last like day. You keep bringing it up. It was delicious, and I'm proud of myself. I was a master baker for all of half an hour. <laughs> and then the oven took care of the rest. I love it how you really made a point to enunciate Master Baker. Like, Baker. Like, yes. you really... <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Can't have that soundbite going out over the internet. There's definitely a lot of things that I have to enunciate and explain <laughs> when I'm around Dev. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? I never Dev. take anything out of context. Not at Dev. all. Mm-hmm. Dev. Yes. You're gonna hate me, but I actually have to head out. <gasps> IRL stuff is going on. Oh. So oh no. Oh no. Gotta go. Gotta drop down to four, and I want to head out. Oh okay. All right. Sorry. See you, man. See you, man. We'll definitely catch up. I hope yeah, you sure. On more. Hopefully That'd everything's great. okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, everything'll be fine. <laughs> Bye. Later, guys. Later. Later, chat. Later. Gonna have to edit one thing. Captain Reed is now soy. <laughs> You're now soy Tartuga. <laughs> Your job is now to insult me. <laughs> Joking aside. <laughs> real life things happen. Yeah, no, real life things take precedence. It's really calming. By the way, I have like super calming music going on as I set all this stuff back up on the floor. <laughs> it's it's so relaxing. Oh. I have a I have a uh, Spotify playlist like called Chill Hop or something. It's kind of like that. See, I want to get a uh, because on my stream I use uh uh what is it uh uh pretzel pretzel rock. App on uh, Streamlabs OBS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Um, like they have a lot. Of, they like if you listen to their rock station on there, it's uh, a lot of Miracle Sound on there. So it's 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 fun. I enjoy having that. I'm gonna try to get it set up for uh, this stuff because like no, this chill beat is good. They have other good chill beats on there as well. So. Mm. It's an app that I would actually suggest for me. Why not? It's a good idea. <sighs> you keep thinking of things, th saying things that I want a tangent towards. Like you say app, and I think of Snapchat because of that damn filter. <laughs> That's not. But, I don't know wait, if I want to talk about that filter. That fil it, it makes people look very effeminate. And <laughs> if that, I think that's the correct word. I don't think it can be any worse than the Bob Marley one. <clears throat> I mean, that you should look was at bad. our Twitters. <laughs> You're not wrong. But if you look at, like, my Twitter or uh, Frankie's Twitter, Phoenix Frankie's Twitter, uh, it, it's, it's some pretty great pictures, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, Dev Neat... Uh, Chasing is requesting that you two take a picture using the Snapchat app. Uh, <laughs> Not happening right now. No? You don't want to do it right here, right now? <laughs> that's gonna, that's not, uh -uh. Uh -uh. You just I... hold up your phone and take a picture and that's that. <laughs> All it is. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna, I'll show Steven since. He's... Since I'm here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Monka S, what happened? Why did you, I, um, I don't know if I can show it. What are you honestly, talking it about? It was an accident. I don't what know if I can actually show about? that. Oh, just crop it just out. A, yeah, just put a bar over something, I'm sure. <laughs> it may or totally may have been intentional, but... <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Everything is wrong with me. I don't know how every I week it's a cry for help. Hey, Julius. <laughs> I'm gonna have to crop this down further. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dev's just thoroughly examining my cleavage. No, I'm trying not to. Yo, this is a super long photo, I must say.
<laughs> You're welcome for that. It's it's at the very bottom, so it's hard to see my hand holding my boobs together. <laughs> oh, damn it. oh, yep. I see it now. <laughs> uh, the work thing. There we go. There Not showing the rest is. of it. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it looks. I, I tried to do like a sexy look, and it made my eyes unlevel. Um. <laughs> God. But yeah, yeah. If you're gonna show the rest of that picture, you'd have to get in just chatting. I think that's the only way you're allowed to show that much cleavage. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. No, it's, it's <laughs> and worrisome. Also, Frankie made one as well, and I think Frankie is far better. <laughs> one, I don't have his permission to. Yeah, he said stop. stop. <laughs> uh, no. no. Right now you're ugly, but you'd make a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Snapchat has taught me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get your picture so long? That's just how my phone takes pictures. Wait, what phone is that? Google like Pixel Google 2. Pixel 2. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know because I have the same fucking phone. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I feel about these because they just, they don't, I know these people and they don't look like themselves and it's just, it's just oh. so natural, isn't it? I, Because you know how they're I, supposed I, to look. And yeah. your brain's like, that's not them. It's Uncanny Valley, that's it. That's the word I was looking it's for. It's very Uncanny Valley is what it is. Some of my friends used to have like a, a website, like, you know, like a forum kind of page thing. And back when Photoshop was kind of a big deal, they had a bunch of those like sex change Photoshops that looked like that. And it's just some things you can't unsee. And I uh, would not recommend it. Uh, now that you mention it, <laughs> I totally know who she's talking about. You, per you people wouldn't. I mean, Dev probably does, but um, we've just traumatized Dev with memories of high school and he probably apparently looks like... Do you need, do you need like. to lay down, Dev? It's okay. The bed's right there. I right could there. easily just do that. Listen, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll keep chugging along. Don't worry. It's okay. Take, take as much time as you need. Good. I'm, yeah. like, I'm gonna need like a full year of recovery. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. We're gonna keep the stream right, going by the for way, a full uh, year. I like the Minato uh, figure back there. Deku. Wait, what? Deku, behind you. You said first off, you said Minato. Minato. I'm questioning this in the first place. Oh, Mineta. Wait, no, Min it's not Mineta. What are you talking Min about? Midoriya. Midor How did I fuck that up in my brain? That bad. So that's one of your favorite animes, okay. and you don't. I like it because Chris Sabat plays goddamn fucking All Might, man. That's how I fall in love with it. And I don't usually call him by his first name. He usually just goes by Deku. So that's why I know Wait him. Wait a second. You know what's funny? Hmm. He said Mineta. And you know what Mineta's special power? Balls. Oh, <laughs> and you know what we've been just talking about? <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> it comes full circle. <laughs> I said. You cut out again. It's okay, Dev. No, it's not. <laughs> if I was gonna be anybody in my hero academia, it'd be the girl who can make things with it touching her skin. <laughs> um You'd have to eat um, a lot. Have you seen me? <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, actually, her power is probably a really good way to lose weight. I honestly, that's she why I would love to. it out of the sugars in her body, so. Yeah, I'd lose a lot of weight, get an awesome figure. It'd be perfect. Yeah. 
As long as I get to keep the epic facial hair that I've been trying to grow forever, which is kind of terrible in my opinion, uh, <laughs> I would be happy. No, I'd, I'd like to be just the dude with the, uh... Ooh, oh girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Even a side-by-side -side comparison, it's lovely. <laughs> I just want to be the dude with the weird fins on the side of his head from like the first episode who just does nothing. Just, who's just there. You know what? I might have to become a mom. <laughs> you know? I mean, I. I'm still the evil person who wants my power to just. Power of suggestion. And, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> my suggestion would for people to tune into my stream. <laughs> Watch. Like, and it wouldn't be like one of those things where I'd say something and then they'd be compelled to do it. It'd be one of those things where I'd say, I'd ask them to do something, and if they di did it, it'd make them feel good. So over time, they'd get an addiction to the feeling of helping me. It'd be that kind of suggestion. Oh, okay. I think that's worse. Yeah, yeah. that's awful. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, like, that gives, them a <laughs> that gives them a route out, but like, damn, that is actually... <laughs> that gives them a route out, it's just a rehab. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, it's like, man, fuck? I like how I like how it feels to help that person out. I'm gonna help him out more often. That's like, um, what's it called, uh, Kilgrim? Yeah, yeah. From my uh, Jessica Jones, the Jessica yeah, Jones comics. Man. Mm. I think his words. I know his words can automatically affect somebody, but I'm pretty sure the longer you're around him, the more easier power. the effect does on it. Yeah, it's because mm. there's a pheromone he emits. That affects your brain chemistry. Um, Isn't that also a power in my in my hero? Someone just smells really good or something. No, um, she releases perfumes that knock you out. Yeah. Not uh, so nothing to that extent. Um, okay. <laughs> like. Well, you have Shinso, but yeah. Uh, I mean, he'd be the closest to that power, but like you have, he has to ask a question, and you have to. Answer to give an answer, yeah. Even if you mentally give an answer, you're fucked. Like, what's your favorite anime? Oh, it's a fuck. <laughs> exactly. But no, but with I, uh, I... with uh, Purple Man, it's uh, like you just you think it because he tells you to do it, and you just do it because of the pheromones compel you to do it. It's it's essentially your idea of a power. <laughs> for me, I want it to be something simple, like, you don't have to do what I ask at all, anything like that, but, like, I'll do something, it'd be like, oh, man, I dropped my pencil, can you hand me that? And then that'd just be the start of it all. <laughs> you a fucking monster! <laughs> I may have to call the FBI, I don't know. From <laughs> humble beginnings. <laughs> what the fuck, man? So I you're don't... doping people by asking them to pick up your pencil. That's, yeah. that's your first- What's on the pencil? <laughs> That'd be my first question. You're a- Dad, what have you brought me into? I don't- I don't know- I don't, what have I brought myself into at this point? <laughs> Listen, this is your operation right now, so... It's kinda anything that goes on, that's- that's you. But like, mm -hmm. I'm a guest here, and you brought me on here. Yep. You so I'm in danger, friend. and you just throw my life under, <laughs> under a bus that's asking me to pick up their pencils so they can dope me for the first time. Yeah, well, it's now itself. Don't pick up pencils. That's yeah. uh, never do what I write. Write it down. Yeah, that's 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 the answer right there. Dev. <laughs> that is. <laughs> but you're gonna need like three or four more of those. Hey, <laughs> we got vodka. Oh, we get to see Dev's alcoholism in play again. Eli I haven't drank in two weeks. Fuck you. I love the fact, though, that you haven't drank in two weeks, but, like, alcohol is definitely within reach. Like, you didn't even have to, like, get your ass out of the chair. <laughs> it's I just right there. I purposely set this setup to do that. <laughs> uh, you know. It's cuz. <laughs> yeah, as long as none of it's fireball, I don't care. None of it's Wait, fireball. what's wrong with fireball? It's fireball is the most disgusting thing ever. I, in my opinion, only because I hate the fa taste of artificial, um, cinnamon. artificial cinnamon. cinnamon. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say like you're one of the hundred of people, like it was a hundred percent people who've gotten sick off fireball. No, I just don't <laughs> like the taste of the fake cinnamon. 
Mm. I like that. I, I do actually like that flavor. I like the I like that in gums and stuff. Like I didn't realize I would. I I didn't like Red Hots when I was. Thank younger, you, Torn. The automatics, the artificial cinnamon does does take. So now now I have a thing to ask since Torn's brought this up. Can you read us something luxurious and lovely? <laughs> <laughs> what like, what do you want me to read? I don't know. Um, find a demo of Fifty Shades of Grey. Or... <laughs> Read the Wikipedia for an egg. <laughs> for, yes, there you go. And make it sound as sultry and ASMR as you can. I don't know. I hate ASMR. Uh, I don't even have a good mic. I don't even know. It's it's, it's all the mic. It's the, it's the shit mic. It's not me. Listen, it's not the mic. The voice that makes the man. <laughs> I I can't do the, uh, like, you got everybody, like, I know, like, everybody wants to have, like, the mic that sits here and then, like, the really good headset. I've got this terrible headset because I, I don't sit still. Like, I just, you know, we'll be playing Overwatch, and then, like, when the game's over, I'm just, like, pasting to the kitchen for no reason. I still got to chat in this court. So. Fair. Okay. Me, I have mine set so the bar, the arm goes over the uh, monitor. So my mic's oh, yeah. right here. Yeah. Because, one, I can't have it in this vicinity because I'll hit the the arm. Of oh, I would 100% would, too. Yeah. Didn't turn that too far. Um, so... If I, if I had it anywhere here, I've hit it so many times that when I got this new mic, I was like, okay, changing my setup. It's going back there, never being on this side again, because I will fucking hit it too much. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough space right now. I need to need to branch out into another room, I think, and get my main out of the living room. <laughs> well, see, I, I'm only in like a four-foot box where I'm at. So yeah, <laughs> well, I've got like another four he's got... foot uh, radius to the bed there. So you know, I have plenty of room for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys stream, do you guys use your? Do you guys have a separate stream box? Because I haven't set that up yet. Uh, I'm still streaming on the same computer. I I have not got a second setup. Like a second. A dual yeah. Setup. Uh, I used to stream off my, P oh, off my laptop, and then that was recording my PC with like an Elgato. Mm -hmm. Not about doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I want to do, just because Overwatch has been throwing me for fits recently. Like, I, I get just terrible FPS in Overwatch, and Overwatch I run on potato, so I have no idea what's going on. But yeah, no, I just had that issue in general, and I um. Like the the PC that I had had like a Pentium in it, and it, it could run games, but it couldn't run the game and stream it. So I was using yeah. using stuff a lot of stuff with the uh, graphics card, and that's before they did the whole NVEC thing that they just came out with. See, mm. that's why I'm I'm looking forward to because Streamlabs and uh, Intel are working together to do uh, like stream boxes. Yeah. Um, for uh, like their small compact stream PCs. Like a little knock or something. Yeah, that you just plug into the back of your yeah. monitor, um, and it runs it. So. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's that's what I'm gonna do. Like then I will convert this into just gaming, and I'll have a separate. And they plan to do like right. a cell phone plan with it. So like, after two years, you can upgrade to another one. Um, oh, okay. And uh, like at least that's how they explained it. You know, your payment plan. Um, after two years, you can upgrade, or you can just pay it all off right away. Um, and then you also mm. have uh. They'll have their own repair team for it. So if, if it I mean, fucks up, they can repair it. Like I've got an old like, you know, seven seven five base thing upstairs that would it's got like a two seventy. It would probably work as a streaming machine. I don't think it really takes much for OBS. OBS is kind of not too bad. I don't know if it has USB three though, so I need that for the capture card. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm on this PC right now. I'll capture Switch, PS4, um, and PC stuff right now. Mm -hmm. but, oh, I, I just uh, use my Xbox One if I want to play anything, and I just use the Xbox app on the PC. <laughs> so I actually don't have a capture card right now. But if I want to play Switch, I just hook my Switch into my Xbox, <laughs> then broadcast it to my PC. It's the most ghetto thing ever. <laughs> No, you but if that. it works, 
It works. And it's actually really quick. Like, there's not a lot of delay or anything, so. The guy was playing Let's Go Pikachu the other day. I think it worked fine. I got Let's Go Eevee. Fair choice. And I thought... Go ahead. I, I, like... You're saying you can, like, ghetto, quote-unquote ghetto, a, um... A setup for your Switch and Xbox and stuff and make it work. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um... But, like, I actually bought a whole bunch of equipment to try and use my ca my camera as a webcam, like an actual <laughs> physical camera, and it doesn't work because the camera just doesn't have that as a feature. Kind of like, <laughs> just, it, <ugh. laughs> Sad face. Yeah, I'm gonna one-up you. One -up with, uh, mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> oh, you caught a Detective Pikachu. I caught a Detective Pikachu. Yo... Dev, get that out of here. I, I don't know. I don't want any part of it. They, 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 give, they throw out Pikachus with hats all the time. Get that yeah, out of here. But That's this one's actually thing. harder to catch. Because you gotta. Is I it... got lucky. The first picture I took, because you gotta use their AR picture mode on there to get it. The first po photo I took today is my Bulbasaur. And it showed up. I was like, you know what? My job's done. I got Detective Pikachu. I need a second one so I can evolve it into Detective Raichu. I don't think that's how that works. That is how that works. They keep their hats if you evolve them. So. Yeah, they do. No, do they really? I'm, I'm I don't know. He loses his detective status when he evolves into the Raichu because he's a different. That's that's not how it works. He's Sergeant no, Raichu. How that works. He just he just beat Cop Raichu at that point. <laughs> he doesn't get he promoted. I Maybe mean, he, he, he was he was playing he was playing Dirty Cop as as Pikachu and it just didn't turn out for him. He got he got demoted. Yo, did anybody see that um, online? The uh, the leak of yeah, we talked about that. Just the yeah, <laughs> I was legitimately worried for Ryan Reynolds as well. Whenever I saw the little up in the corner, you know, Ryan also, Reynolds. By the way, hi Drew, hi Torn, hi Scar. How is everyone? D Dev, we can't hear you suddenly. I was saying hi to everyone in chat real quick. Fine. Shut up. Sorry. Just a quick, you know, moment. Sure, and see how appreciated we are. Don't want to talk to us. What the fuck does that mean? He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want to talk to us. Exactly. The fuck am I even doing here? Well, Soy isn't here to insult so Soy. <laughs> so, yeah, Why does everyone say play. they gotta pick up the slack, huh? <laughs> because clearly it has to happen or else we don't have a show. Well, shit, we've been talking this entire time without insulting me. Like, you know. In five ten minutes. <laughs> Can you see my Raichu with a, a Christmas hat? My camera's too far away. <laughs> no. It's too far away to show. I don't know what I thought I was gonna do. Get closer to the screen was gonna help me see that, but whatever. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, speaking of you know like stuff that you know kids are into, like you know Pokemon. What about Legos? You guys like Legos? You know, I, I do like Legos. They're, like, really addictive when you start building things and putting them together, and it's a lot of fun. I had a younger brother, and uh, I loved Legos, and he loved to destroy everything I made with Legos, so... <laughs> he hit his terrible twos right when I hit my Lego phase. <laughs> That's perfect timing. Yeah, just... Every time he'd leave the room, it was all gone. Well, we got a funny story about that with our... Wacky, wacky, wacky news story. story. It's literally the worst thing ever. It really ever. is, but I love it. <laughs> <sighs> oh, champ. So. Wacky, wacky, wacky. News story. <laughs> Anyways, Cal discovers $40,000 worth of meth inside a box of Legos. Only $65 a month? <laughs> <laughs> yes advertisements yes um so literally i don't know why i thought this but the first thing i thought of when that when i read the news article was wow they got forty thousand dollars worth of money for turning that stuff into the cops no that's not no how it works not at all no <laughs> the kid wishes because i would have paid for his goddamn college tuition and all the Legos he wanted that he yeah, just he desperately disappointed in. <laughs> the sad truth is that's only one semester. 
He could have put it in the savings account yeah. to or, or... Yeah, but it's too late for him. Odds. You want to invest in on Wall Street loses it for him and he has to uh, <laughs> Stop ruining so you this kid's dreams. Stock right now? <laughs> but no. His dreams were ruined when he found phone crack inside of a or meth inside. You know what? I am disappointed it's not blue. Yeah. 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 Well, you can it's tell it's not, not the good stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's how you can tell. Look at, the, look at the clarity on that. Clearly, it's not diamonds. Yeah, it's not clear at all. If only a high school chemistry teacher would you know, break bad and make some good shit. Uh, one, there's just, there's a lot of questions of how. How does Honestly, this happen? Honestly, that looks like brunch. What? Well, I guess the, their thought is like that it's delivered via like I've heard of Legos being used as currency Can for drug money. Scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna look at that picture one time uh, because Literally. I'm I'm half wondering like Lego Classic. Is this something that you can actually still buy, like this box? Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen that in a long ass time. Yeah, you can still buy the Lego Classic box. It's uh. Say box that you know is just to buy. Part, or, part of me just well, stuff. Part of me is like, I bet she just bought forty thousand dollars worth of meth, realized she couldn't hawk it somewhere, and then decided, you know what, let's frame it on and just get rid of this. <laughs> well, it does say consignment store, so like they bought it at a consignment store. So like, I guess the thought is that like it was delivered to someone's, like it was used to deliver to someone's house. It wasn't there, and then. The post office won't deliver that because there's no one that lives there, and then it just gets auctioned off. Then the consignment store bought it, and then this kid got forty thousand dollars for the meth. You know, happy ending for everybody. So nobody ever was like, "This is a kind of heavy box for some Lego." <laughs> That's uh. <laughs> Why doesn't it rattle like it's supposed to? Yeah, yeah just. Like... It sounds more I... of a. <sighs> It sounds like more like I could throw it in a pipe and smoke it. I was about to say, if you just scroll down again and look at the picture, it's all broken up and stuff on one side. Like, they actually tried to shake it to be like, this sounds weird. <laughs> like, sound the like corners. Like <laughs> I'm telling you, that looks like Cinnamon Toast. I mean, not Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, my God. That looks like Crunch. Crunch. Crunch with not another little bear. Classic Crunch. It's a good way of just describing it. It looks like Classic Crunch. Like, I thought you said blasted crunch there for a minute. I was like, what the hell? Whoa, that's, that's his, uh, that's his uh, <laughs> adult only series. <laughs> and then blasted it's all about. <laughs> yeah. It's for all the people who don't. No, no, it's. No, never mind. That's what happens when the cereal sits in the bowl too long. <laughs> oh, I had a video one time of like cereal that I think was like two, three days from going bad, and it was like stuck inside like a, a clump like I threw it against the wall and it was still clumpy <sighs> sounds like the sugars melted it together what kind yeah, of cereal it was, was, it, was it? it? it was it was like regular oat cereal but it, it just it just ended up becoming such a it, it, that's Here. what it does inside of you okay give me one second <laughs> oh no <laughs> uh But how do you get forty thousand dollars worth of meth? You gotta make it. I mean, I mean, it's just just the odds are my my. I mean, it's in Georgia, not Florida, so the odds are you know worse. Or is it in South Carolina? <laughs> Three Georgia women found a box of Legos in a Emerson shop in oh, Charleston, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Okay. So they brought it back to no, it's trafficking right there. <laughs> oh. Get a... Yo, uh, imagine if... that. Yo, imagine bringing that back to the store and then you get pulled over and then the cops like, what's in the Lego box? They happen to be a K9. <laughs> uh, a K9 unit. You know <laughs> Officer, I swear to God, I had no idea there was that much meth in that box. I had an idea there was some meth in it, but not that much meth. And then yeah, I just thought there was a the little bit. Ready to go return that too, so then you have the charge for like endangering the the welfare of a biter. Like, oh my whoa, god, you would rack up so many charges trying to go and return that back to the store, <laughs> and you got pulled over by the wrong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, 
I'm just thinking of whoever lost forty thousand dollars worth of meth. How's his life going right now? Yo, or her, oh, or her. Dead. He's probably <laughs> in the bottom of a lake somewhere. Yeah. With concrete tattoos. You lost tattoos. forty thousand dollars of meth? <laughs> Sir, I I mixed it up with this Lego collection. I thought it was the <laughs> ultimate edition. It was just the plain one. Who puts who puts meth in the plain box? We only put them in the ultimate. <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad. It, 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 if it was a mix, a genuine mix-up, I feel bad for the guy who actually ordered the meth and ended up with a bunch of Legos. Like, yeah, what the, the fuck hell is this? this? <laughs> Bro could have been so high, just thought it was meth anyway, and just kind of kept calls up his dealings. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? You idiot! You smoke it. He's, he's like smoking glow. Like, just plastic. <laughs> Dude's like, dead this now. Looks a little weird. <laughs> yeah, it's meth. It always looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I can piece them together. I mean, yeah, if you find the right pieces when we broke it up, yeah, you can piece it together. Bro, are you are you playing with the are you playing with the meth or are you smoking the meth, bro? Listen, <laughs> take it or leave it or send it back. All right. Have you completed the instructions in the bag that clearly show you how to use it with the little pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A guy reports like my meth came with instructions. <laughs> he shows a Lego. <laughs> it's got a little Lego guy lighting up. <laughs> he's like pissed <laughs> off. He's like, yo, the 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 back in my day, the meth I used to get <laughs> was so much simpler. Now there's so many instructions, and it's giving me structures to build <laughs> with my meth. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I don't want to build the Millennium Falcon. I just want to get stoned. <laughs> I imagine one of two scenarios for real. It's either like he's like uh, he's either already really high and is like now nah, let's see what my package is. Ah oh, shit, Legos, man, and starts building Legos. See, that's or, not what meth high is. Or though, no, I understand. <laughs> or he's on the other side where he's like crashing down. And he's like, I just need more. But my fix, and then the fucking Lego, and he just like starts shredding everything and crashing. Lego just explode throughout the room like it's yeah. a. You see, you like see, you buy a bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> meth makes you so high you stand outside on somebody else's porch and you talk to yourself for hours until they spray you down with a hose. That's that's what that does. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, uh, wait. One. Wait. I. I think I got something for this. Oh. Wait. Did you see the thing that I sent you? Uh. uh did you send it in Discord? Yeah, yes. in the Discord. Okay, give me just a moment. I'll have to... I have to do a roundabout way to get it. Oh, I can do that. Send it to his Twitter. Send it? Dev's Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Or send it to... Yeah, send it to my Twitter. It'll work. <sighs> uh. But no, like... <laughs> You saying it that way actually made me think of, like, me and Steven where we grew up. Oh, God. That would almost be something we would have to deal with. I did have to deal with that once, actually. Uh, uh, the turn is out, depending on how you make your meth and what you make it with, it makes certain smells. A uh, mm. guy within about two blocks of where I lived mixed his chemicals to make everything within a two block radius smell like cat urine so it was lovely that like, sounds actually awful yeah like yeah. for at least two years for the entire summer it would just reek of urine and then they're like drug bust in the new butler area of, of kingman arizona and then, blah, 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 blah. and then like the next summer it was fine <clears throat> No problems. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to full screen it. Damn yeah, it, damn. This, this video got recommended to me from 2014. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And the first comment is like, yo, does this still work in 2019 or did it get patched out? <laughs> yeah, it's literally a, a video of a dude spraying down the crackhead <laughs> on his lawn. One of the video is here. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Is... I feel like your cereal here that Dev's showing right now. Um, I kind of feel like that was vacuum sealed. <laughs> <laughs>
or it was really sugary. That's what it looks like at the bottom. It's vacuum sealed. Good chance. Well, eh, maybe. Cause well, once I opened it, once I opened it, it just would not pour out at all, and I was pretty pissed. Understandably, I mean, when you go to pour cereal and it doesn't come out as cereal, <laughs> understandable to have some issues. <laughs> when it comes out as meth, then you know you've. That's when you've. No, that's your Legos. <laughs> get it right. It wasn't. It wasn't cereal. It was meth, and I, I <laughs> missed out an opportunity to return it back to the. <laughs> You messed that on a few trafficking charges, don't worry about it. Oh boy, here we go. Alright. Got it up, here we go. Dude, that video... <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel. Yeah, monk ass. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta... I gotta change the, uh... That that's real dealing with like that feels like childhood in some instances. Strangely, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it looks like childhood. <laughs> Sadly, I did not have uh, crackheads on my porch. Off your but I have oh, I've had a drunk person on my see. porch once. Um, we can see the guy's degrees. address. Uh, Early in the morning, Christmas Eve. Yeah. And this type of shit you gotta deal with in a trap, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows too damn early for this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then she gets closer. Like, I think, so, real talk. There's definitely been a moment where I've seen this happen in my college town, the Flagstaff, Arizona, where a person was just tripping on something. I have no idea what. And they were circling my car. They were just walking just circles around my car, just down. singing and talking and like yeah, leaning man. against it. And I just sat there watching them for 20 minutes, like, what the hell are you doing? Eventually they walked away, but I was like, are you trying to start, like, do something to my car? <laughs> she was like this person in the video, and apparently I just needed to get a hose. Um, the comments on this video are the greatest thing you'll ever see because apparently it wasn't just me that I got recommended it later on because it, it got uploaded 2014 and then just all of a sudden I think a month two months ago it just blew up in in popularity just started getting recommended over and over weird because <laughs> YouTube's trying to recommend non uh, culty uh, 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 theory videos <laughs> well i mean it's like that instant right there reminds me of i've told this story before but i'll tell it again um is when i was at work at the truck wash and me and my buddy and our boss are walking the lot because we have to walk the lot occasionally make sure there's no trash as we're walking by the fence we're right next to the fly in j and uh suddenly truck driver starts walking to the fence <laughs> Exactly what he said. First time. What so all of us are just like, what? And our boss walks over. Excuse me, sir. What'd you say? Where can I get some meth? <laughs> <laughs> me and my buddy have to turn immediately around so we don't bust up laughing in this dude's face. <laughs> um. <laughs> and our boss has to be like, Sir, we don't do we don't sell that. I heard I heard this is the meth capital of the world. I I, I where's where can I get some meth? <laughs> He's like, sir, you can't, yes. can't buy that here. Please go elsewhere. I need some meth. <laughs> Your voice sounds like the guy from Men in Black that like gets in the like the, the, the cockroach guy. <laughs> like the water. water. I need water. water. That's need kinda meth. how he walked too. <laughs> Mad. Mad. Sugar water. Meth water. <laughs> Instead of sugar There's water, like in the water. <laughs> New to Florida. <laughs> Going to Florida this spring. Meth water. Speaking of Florida. God damn it. Well, that was a good transition. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, it brings up my article that I saw. So. It's been updated already, but 
uh, there was a Florida man, which, did you hear about the Florida man meme that was going around a while ago? Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, you just type in Florida man and then your birthday, and then you'll find the Florida man story on that date. Let's see what mine is. Story. Uh, but this Florida man got arrested for having I eat ass on the back of his window. And I mean, the charges were dropped now, thankfully. This was updated today, I think, or yesterday, or whatever. But, uh, yeah. I just, no, it was updated today. Wait, what? No. He got arrested for having I eat ass on the back of his car. Or on the and back says, window of his truck. Yeah, and it says something like, there's a law in Texas or wherever this was in. Uh, Florida. Florida statute, yeah. Yeah, the statute Wait, of... The story did say seven. Florida, man. I feel like I that know. would narrow down where it was. Right? No, that's definitely <laughs> Nevada. No, he'll find a way. No, I think it's Arizona again. Hawaii. Uh, oh. but yeah, Florida man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically he does say Florida man, so he doesn't technically have to be in Florida for it, so... That Florida man leaves state, gets arrested. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get back in your car and go back to your state. Take your take okay. your <laughs> Okay, can, can I can I read from the Florida statute? Okay. Sure. So so they, they cite Florida statute eight four seven, okay? And they talk about obscene materials, okay? Here are a few examples. Simulated rape, simulated pedophilia. Child pornography, bestiality, or poop pee slash related sexual activity. That has to be on paper in Florida. Poop pee sexual related poop activity. Slash pee related. But, so technically, does eating ass constitute the poop section of the sexual activity? I mean Is that their logic? Wait, I, I don't like, like Calvin and Hobbes little Calvin stickers that of him peeing on stuff isn't allowed in Florida? I would think well, so. is that sexual though? Is or is he just peak? How to say? How do you determine if it's sexual? Maybe this guy just eats ass. Like it's not a sexual right. thing for him. He just eats Wait, ass. It's just it's maybe what he does. He eats. What donkey. if his defense was? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. What if that's his defense in court? Like his defense in court is, yeah, um, sir, it says I eat ass, but it's actually a reference to the fact that I enjoy donkey meat, which is actually not illegal in the state of Florida. But <laughs> other, yes, that is very. But I would never. I am a law-abiding citizen. Like, yeah, that that would be. <laughs> like he's he studied the law so he can do it, and he's like, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, donkey, you gotta go. <laughs> Freezes some they donkey meat. Exhibit to A. Exhibit A is just like a piece of donkey meat, and they're like, okay, if if this is true, okay. <laughs> just, it's do you have any quivers. A1? <laughs> do you have any A1 steak sauce? <laughs> mm, gamey. Oh my god. Yeah, no, honestly, this is like the best, and it's sad to say the best Florida man story I think I've ever seen. <laughs> like, there is... There's some terrible things that Floridians do, like they eat each other's faces high off blast yeah. salts. But like, <laughs> yeah, this is the calmest yeah. man story. I'm, I'm reading chat as well. <laughs> My favorite drug story uh, from just want to drink. I was at a bar in Tucson, Arizona, which sounds like the start of a song. Okay, Shakespeare. <laughs> With some friends, and an old white guy comes up to the table and asks, how y'all doing? We say, fine. He says, would you kids be interested in some meth? We said, no, thank you. He said, how about acid? We said, no, thank you. And he said, oh, okay. Have a good night. It was the most polite, chill conversation about drugs I've ever had. <laughs> you know, Reagan was right. Just say no. <laughs> Who knew? I mean, if it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled up <coughs> maturity, maturity. Um, I just pulled up my Florida man story for the second time. It's a different one than last time, but I like this one. Florida man said he stalked his family and his neighbors to make friends. Good Florida man story. <laughs> How is that a good Florida man story? <laughs> I don't know. There's just stupid shit all the time. Mine is. Mine is Florida man wanted for writing worthless check driving off with 246 KRV. Damn, that is a good Florida man story. That's my Florida man story. <laughs> All right, chat. Someone just entered chat with like the best name ever. 
Master 69 Lucifer. <laughs> That's pristine. A billion dollars, but you taste everything you touch until you spend all the money. No. No. Can it I wear like... gloves? Then your gut tastes nothing but rubber. What unless, like, I could buy, that? like, something, like, unless I could buy, like, maybe stock and then immediately sell that back. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, that'd be the only way. Ah, loophole! There you go. Done. I was say, what if I cover my hands in flavored condoms? And... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that works still... the way you think it does. Yeah. Probably not, no, but... I feel like the work. Are they all different flavors, like every finger? I... <laughs> Depends on the day. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Lucifer just said that works, so you could buy socks. <laughs> 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 Alright, then I'll do it for so one hour. Do I have to look up with the year for this, or no? Uh, you don't have to look up the year, just the day. I think mine oh. was some robbery, dude. Some robbery someone did. I was like, okay, sounds about right. <laughs> They've got we... like. Go ahead, sorry. Nah, I had nothing important to say. I was gonna say they have like some Freedom of Information Act from Florida. It's like a sunshine law or something like that. That's why there's all these Florida man stories. Yeah, they had uh, they, someone challenged it so that they they have to do that, and so that's why newspapers can literally in Florida just be like, all right, how are we gonna get a headline today? Oh. Florida man did, <laughs> and it just continues to roll on. Uh, mine says Florida man sentenced to 20 years for stealing cigarette. That's a little harsh. <laughs> right? <laughs> How many cigarettes? <laughs> What's the oh. tax rate in Florida? <laughs> okay, so he's gonna I'm kill himself with the cigarettes. You're not gonna. You're not. You're you're making it worse then. <laughs> okay, so I found a website that's got some of like the top Florida man stories. So here, Florida man wasn't drinking while driving, just at stop signs. Uh, that was mine. <laughs> I think that was one of ours that day. I think it was like, soy. Florida <laughs> man put semen in coworkers' water. Woo! Okay, you see, you you want to know what's oh, water? About this, you want to you you want to know what's funny about this story? It's now protein water. Also, one, Master Lucifer, well, thank not you even for the just follow. that. One, um, we'll get to your questions in a second. Uh, gross, but <laughs> <laughs> it's water. You can see that there's semen in your water. <laughs> what if you so fill my it question with is, ice? Did he get caught after the dude drank it, or did he get caught <laughs> when the guy noticed what it? What if the guy puts lemon in his water? So there's our. <laughs> What what was that movie that came out like serving you or something like that where they worked in a oh, restaurant? Yeah, with Ryan Reynolds. Yes. <laughs> and they did... like they do the Parmesan as dandruff. <laughs> yeah, and one guy spits in it and spits yeah. in the gravy. Uh, and then they have that whole dick showing game. Yeah. I think I saw a forever. story of a dude like he, he there was like a wallop of spit in this woman's cup, like this iced tea that she bought I think from McDonald's or something. And when she left, like, she was like, yo, this dude spit my drink, blah, blah, blah. This dude was like, I didn't spit in your drink. I didn't spit in your drink. And then they do a DNA test. And, like, he's like, oh, God, I promise I didn't I didn't spit in your drink. Well, no, it's a it's like a big charge. Like doing yeah. you can you can go to jail. Like you get time for that. So because <laughs> you work in a in a service in, in a yeah. service industry or whatever. So blah, blah, blah. Weeks later, weeks later to check out. He's like the news keeps rolling up at this dude's house. They're checking it out, checking it out. And then indicted for, for spitting in the woman's cup. The DNA is a, is a perfect match. <laughs> it's like, yo, that's it's just what. Just own up like, to it at that point. You're gonna be better off. <laughs> he like he... he cut out. Audio. Yeah, no. The whole time, just getting that all tested. Like at one point, once you, I'm getting tested. I'm like, yo, listen, I did it. Because after that point, it's like you're just wasting time. Like they're gonna catch you. <laughs> He's like, I gotta ride this as long as possible. Jail. I wanna live <laughs> <on> pain. <laughs> uh, so, Lucifer asked two more questions. One billion okay. dollars, but your hands have uh, lube on them. If you try to remove it, it comes back. 
Is the lube flammable? Good question. Because if it was, then you could be the, like that nitroglycerin dude from My Hero Academia. <laughs> um, you could basically turn it into a billion dollars in superpowers. Yeah, there you go, exactly. <laughs> well, it's a billion dollars. You could definitely hire somebody to figure it out for you. <laughs> and you if not, you'd be very handy in the bedroom or in the yeah, you, <laughs> very the handy. One most wanted man in the morning. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you never have to buy lube again. Oh, for me, yes. come here, please. <laughs> for me, yes, that is flammable. Okay, perfect. For me. <laughs> God, you, then you're gonna. Then you, I don't want Steven to have fucking goddamn flammable fingers. No, you're oh, just gonna burn I yourself. I would go sliding. Like yo, I would put like. I just do like a handstand down like a huge hill. That'd be awesome. Just get a little uh, <laughs> slip and slide. <laughs> it's like yeah, frozen. Yeah, frozen it all. Yeah, froze on it all yeah. the way down the. Down the <laughs> you could do that. You just get like a lid of some sort and just fling your hands in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Go down the hill like uh, with Clark Clark Griswold off of uh, <laughs> just, boom. Uh, Lube superpowers, you know. And the more people start say, saying it this way, I'm more I'm more okay with it. Call it Lube Hey, listen, hey, listen uh, you don't want that in the, in the workplace, okay? That's that's a sexual harassment case every day. <laughs> I, I would I would probably lose my job because I work with food. So yeah, like, but I you couldn't. got a billion dollars. Who cares? And plus, like, you could continually make money just by like you know putting your arm in a lube bucket and just like selling that shit. Yeah, <laughs> just but listen, he wouldn't want to sue the dude with lube for hands. You know? Yeah, like, I would. You, you walk up to a woman. Go ahead. Shake her hand. She just she just rolls up with a with a court case. Yeah, um, I was sexually assaulted. He put lube on my hands. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't shake hands. Sorry. <laughs> don't shake hands. Just all. elbow bumps, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, elbow bumps. I'm a dirty <laughs> Just hand covered. By the way, I love gel. that I know that Lucifer is a Rooster Teeth fan from these questions. Yeah, it's million dollars. Thank you. Yes, but I know exactly where they're getting some of these questions, and I love it. Like, I love that I knew exactly where they've gotten some of these. So, okay, so the next question. One billion dollars, but you're the opposite gender for a year. That's fine, why? What's the problem? Yeah, okay. uh -huh. yeah. What would you do That's, in that one year? You could make hella money on Twitch. I mean, um, oh no. <laughs> uh, on, on YouTube. I, yeah, whoa. <laughs> Shots fired. Getting but controversial that. here. Uh oh. See, now, the big question is, what happens if you're living the time of your life during the 12 months that you're a woman? Around month 9, you get pregnant. So when month 12 rolls around, you're 3 months pregnant and you turn back into a dude. Then you can make a lot of money as the first pregnant dude. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe? What happens because your body doesn't have those parts, though? I mean, but would it transfer? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like a really late term. It's, uh, then, it, then you're carrying a baby in your ball sack. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> definitely a C-section. Just saying. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, uh, what was the next question? What anime or video game character would you bring to the real world? I'd bring Dragon Maid. Mm. Anime or video game character, huh? That is a good question. That's just a pen. Well, is it All Might before he does the power thing or after the power thing? This is before. You know what? Screw it. Bring one for all. I mean, no, all for one. Yeah, bring all for one. I'm, I'm an anarchist one? now. No, that's the, that's the villain. 
that okay. takes people's quirks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's 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 bring all power, all powerful, all for what, what into the into this world. Chaos. Yeah, I think I, I think I would just bring someone like like Pac Man or something over just because like it's like you had the opportunity to do this and then you chose Pac Man. Like I would want that as my but then my, like, legacy. Like the the Pixel movie with Adam Sandler where Pac Man just yeah. over in New York. Like, it's like you had the choice. You could have done anything, but you chose Pac-Man. Like you know. What if Pac-Man and Guy Fieri had a cook, uh, like a uh, a food a food touring show together? I'd watch the show. I'd watch it. Yeah, I'd watch it. You I mean, Guy Fieri would be throwing have... stuff. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> That's the transition cut to is the classic Pac-Man animation. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost just. It's a classic Pac-Man animation with uh, Guy Fieri hair on it. <laughs> Wait a second, yo! When you turn into a a woman for the year, right? <laughs> what if you what if you iced some of your own sperm and then that during the twelve month period impregnated? I had your own kid, and then you had your own child. Would that it's... be a clone? Yes. I think that would be the worst case of incest ever. <laughs> yes. yes. Like your kid would like come out with like everything deformed. I mean, like two heads. I think, I think they already do in modern science. They use your DNA to generate, make you birth your own clone. Yo, two heads are better than one. one. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> that sounds. Terrible. Wait, actually, no. That wouldn't be. That wouldn't be. Um. No. In it theory, wouldn't it wouldn't be a clone. Either. No, it wouldn't. Well, it wouldn't be. The thing about it being incest is, it would be the alleles are too similar, right? But like, if they're the exact same, it shouldn't. I don't think anything should mess up, right? I mean, wouldn't that well, be worse? You would like... have to have the perfect, like, it would have to be the perfect pairing, if that makes sense. Of like. Okay, let's just put it this way. It would be almost the exact same as if, like, if uh, if you have paternal twins, a guy and a girl, and they did it, that would totally be incest. It would almost be the exact same thing. Because DNA is very similar between those two, so. Let's just think of it like it's a magnet, and when you change, it's just polar sides coming together, and they're the same side. It just doesn't work, you know. <laughs> so you create the omen. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna come out and just destroy the world. <laughs> no, the the Antichrist is made when a spirit. Okay, listen has here. I don't. I don't need. When you, you type into Google into ethics. Google, that's when it happens. When you All divide right, do it real quick. <laughs> no, that's how you either create the Antichrist or Jamie Lannister. Or, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, what's his face? Shit brick. Um, Shitbrick, yes, that is a good game. That's his name. That's his name. Joffrey. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna struggle for a little word. bit. <laughs> you didn't you didn't stretch it very far with Shitbrick. Yeah. I, I felt like I gave a good e explanation of who I was trying to explain. Shitbrick. Yeah. <laughs> I said Jamie, it was an accident, they both started with a J, and I binged watch you know, all seasons in three weeks. So, oh, damn. So are you, are you caught up then? And you just like watch like seven seasons uh, in three six. weeks? Because I was on chapter, six. I was on season two. So portal appears in your doorway and it goes to a different anime video game world that you can make your own character. Will you leave your life behind and stay in this normal, uh, this normal world? It takes 10 people with you, by the way. If you die, you just respawn. Um, then why wouldn't uh, that's yeah there's no downside to this I'm sorry so i know exactly what world i'm going to there's no fighting on this what world is that the world of pokemon that sounds like a bad idea yeah. only because there's wild animals that can cause wildfires and electrocute people it seems fine and... in their world <laughs> yeah dude I, we like no one ever really like like everyone gave michael vick shit but pokemon's fine that's all i'm saying like, what's the best idea? Let's give an 11 year old child a mag cargo, which is hotter than the core <laughs> of the sun. Like, according to the Pokedex entry. The Pokedex uh, is bullshit, okay? <laughs> they just spout some shit to make it sound fancy so you'll buy the latest issue of it, alright? Are you saying that Professor O laid out Pokedex fake news? Yes! 
<laughs> yes. Yes, so. Being confirmed. Pokedex is fake news. Fake news. Like, how, how, why is it our job to fill in his work? Like, why are there already descriptions of Pokemon when Again, see them? Again, it's, it's so he can sell the latest version! And he sells it to the rest of his professors, like, hey, it's a pyramid scheme! He's at the top, he gives it all the professors below him. <laughs> He's like, here, sell this to all the kids in the neighborhood. They're gonna have to collect shit on it. We'll update it occasionally, you know, every, like, four years. We'll come out with a new like version. Like DLC, we'll, you got it. We'll, we'll, we'll... we'll We'll discover a new region, send some other bloke there who's worked his way up the pyramid, and it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed that the new Pokemon game isn't going to be the same, like, style as Let's Go. I, I kind of, like, really started, I really liked that once I played through it. See, I like it, but I don't like it because you can't grind as easily. Well, you can grind, It's as long as you get those catch tricks going, you can grind pretty well, like, or you get that that phrasing on that one but fair uh but for like in my opinion like i prefer it. like especially for <laughs> nuzlocke style playing mm. um that style of game doesn't work super well for nuzlocke um because i would love to do a nuzlocke but that the pokemon let's go doesn't make that easy mm. i just like not I like being able to go through a forest without getting attacked by like 30 Weedles. <laughs> like that was nice. Yeah, and you can like, avoid you Pokemon. Nope. You can avoid every Pokemon yeah, just you nope. <laughs> So. Yo, Rattatas would be the worst. Or Raticate? Oh my god. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that thing's like this tall. Yeah, a six foot tall rat. What happens if like it, restaurants aren't good with maintaining their sanctu like their food? Yes, it's words. really obvious when they're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got rats eradicate? standing outside the back door when you're throwing out trash. Holy! Is that crap. eradicate in the kitchen? No. No. I can see it. No. No. What the question is? Is that a ratatat in the or ratata in the background? It's like no. Swings a broom at it. It evolves. It's eradicate. Duh. <laughs> he's helping with the, he's helping cook. Stop. <laughs> Yo, that's a that's a whole new spin on Ratatouille. You just see a Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> Pokes are for He had for dreams. Sense. He had dreams to be a chef, and now he's living that dream. <laughs> Imagine hiding a Rattata in your hat, and then it evolves into a Ratatouille. <laughs> Oh! Oh God! Oh. <laughs> you just be lying like this on the ground, just like, uh, do you mind? <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Munchlaxes would be the worst. Munchlax in the Snorlax. Snorlax is fine. You can easily get around that. You, yeah, you just need a pokey flute. Then you have to feed well, it twenty tons of food. No, you just literally create. All, you you literally just have roads big enough that if a Snorlax falls asleep on it doesn't block the path wait it's you're really saying are you saying are you saying you could walk around something yes oh well i didn't know i, I don't think you could do that i don't Much there's a path would be for a reason yeah, yeah it's a path a thing there are paths for a reason what if off the side of the path there's more wild pokemon <laughs> you're cutting out. out you're cutting out again yeah Listen, if you think it's bad enough when you have a rappel on and you're you're meeting Zubats, you, you think you think when you get off that path you're not gonna see Zubats? That whole woods is just filled with Zubats. They're just gonna <laughs> or pee drill or like dude. <laughs> no I wonder think, okay, eleven year olds need fire I'd be Pokemon. Terrified of Beedrills. Oh yeah. Yo, Beedrills are terrifying. Yeah, what? Well, because I have a fear of bees. And now I've just thought about giant bee drills. And and what if they mega evolve? <laughs> it's not just that. It's the 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 Tombi evolve form, uh, best queen, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, the I mean, stinger be about the size of your head, so you got that going for you. Yeah. If you get stung, you're only gonna die. Yeah. You know, just you know. <laughs> Yo, but Pokemon don't hurt humans, you know. Except in the first Pokemon series. Or and in the game Pokemon the first movie. When the professor, in third gen when Professor Birch gets trapped by a Fushiena. Yeah, or when, you know, Team Rocket's acting like a dick and Pikachu, you know, has to send him into it's, space. 
it seems like rather convenient to like the story because like when ash wants to be playfully you know scolded by his his charizard's flames you know it, it, that that's just horrible or like when when he's like electrocuted with thousands of volts but that doesn't hurt him so you know i don't i don't i don't know it, it seems kind of convenient to whatever's going on i mean maybe it's like they said you just respawn so you know it's whatever just That's true. You respond. Really yeah. So like, yeah, you respond. So like, like you just get like throat smeared by B drill, and you're just like, oh hey, what's up, guys? You just come right Wait, back. So like, when you, if you, let's say you die of old age in this world, do you respawn from where you started? Yes. I mean, it says you it's die, like you respawn. It's like the Rick and Morty episode where you put on the goggles and you live your life, <laughs> and then when you take them off, you're like, oh, oh, oh. I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a wife and kids. <laughs> Wait, what if you took off your goggles? What if when you died, that's what happened? You just took off your goggles and you realize you've been living like a full life as in a simulation, just like in the near future, just like two hundred years. I mean, I... Is it end of the Matrix? <laughs> so you respawn at like an eighteen year as an eighteen year old, so you die of old age or die in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Essentially, you get to relive life in different ways. You know what? What if you respawn into different regions? I mean, isn't that basically reincarnation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what if what Without you did still affects years. the world? And you're, you, you just when you die, you re, you, you capture someone else's body. <laughs> Wait, what if that you have like, like the egg theory? What if like you had like natural like, what if? You know, like, some people you think is, like, annoying or whatever? What if that's because you have, like, beef with them in the real world, but it's, like, people who dislike Justin Bieber, like, actually have beef with that person in, like, outside of simulation. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, I don't know why I hate him. I don't know why I hate his face, but 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 I hate it. And it's like, and yeah. like whatever, blah, 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 and you're moving on with your life. And you're like, you know what? I don't, I don't understand why I hated you, but you're a cool dude. And you get out and you're like, Daryl. You no? Know? Some like Dinkleberry type stuff. <laughs> you become best friends with your mortal enemy so that when you guys get out, it's just like you have a newfound respect for each other, but you still hate each other's guts. <laughs> that sounds like a series that you know Fox was gonna try and then cancel like six months. Yo, I hate that so much. When I find a nice show and it's going well, and you're like, damn, that was a good end of the season. Yep. Uh, there's no more there's 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 no more episodes hello <laughs> hello make some more episodes <laughs> then you're like netflix please they did that with no. lucifer they did, they yeah did. they did but like i felt like lucifer had a decent ending yeah but people that's wanted all for shows like, like that's um oh what was there was a show where people were like in an ambulance riding around and, and uh, oh, I can't remember the name of that show. Like that show just ended suddenly, and I was like, wait, they they, they had so many avenues. Like there were still things to discover. It was like an ambulance comedy show, and I can't remember what the name of it is right now. <laughs> oh, World Trigger Three! Show? I've been suggested before. I just haven't got around to watching it. World um, Trigger Three. Have but... you guys heard of the uh, Kanye anthology se series that's supposed to be coming out? What? Wait. Kanye, a, a Kanye anthology, like alternate. It's 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 like an anthology, like uh, what is it called? Like Black Mirror, but with like Kanye in alternate universes and a, a younger version of him in uh season one. The the season of the ego is played by Jaden Smith. Oh god. That sounds so bad, but it'll be so good. It might be good. <laughs> like, yeah, it so might be good. <laughs> it it sounds, sounds like something I'd make. <laughs> Did you guys see the the uh, Fresh Prince uh, of Bel Air, like the the drama? Yeah, I don't watch trailer it. thing. That looks awesome. I would totally watch that. Oh, are you talking about um Bel Air? Seven I made. They called it Bel Air. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, the uh. My problem is, I'm just so tired of dramas. Like, look at The Flash and, like, Arrow. Like, those, Cut out. those were interesting to start, but, like, at a certain point, I was just like, okay. Yeah, I haven't caught up with them. I'm tired of all the drama. And, like, 
can we actually have like normal plot development and not every everything is like either played off for jokes or like kept to a certain like how how are you getting hit with blow darts and you're the fastest man alive <laughs> I'm talk that with his <laughs> and stop please stop saying you're the fastest man alive just to be found out that you're not the fastest man alive we get like to at the end of the get. season be the fastest man alive <laughs> At the end of this season, I it's will not be in the jail. man alive. But right now, <laughs> I'm the fastest man alive. Wait, my powers are being taken away for some reason. I'm no longer the fastest man alive. Hey, I'm now the fastest man alive. <laughs> uh, jokes on you, idiots. My my alternate reality evil twin is actually the fastest man alive, which is technically me. So I'm always. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna run backwards in time and make it so you were never born. Then I'll be the fastest man alive. Yeah, but then you create a flashpoint paradox, and no one wants that. Like, I'll, that I'm sorry, matter. but that's kind of where I fell off. I fell off that season when they did the flashpoint. Mm. Um, because they rushed through that story. Well, yeah, because it's all garbage. I mean, they're all just gonna, gonna chuck in the trash can at the end of, like half a season so they're just like yeah screw it let's just it's a flashpoint yeah it, it didn't matter yeah it, it had ripple effects but it, it didn't have the right effects right i think and it was one episode <clears throat> that's the other problem yeah. it should have been at least a three episode arc right um i like i like if you guys seen the animated uh like the dc movie like Flashpoint Pair, I think it was called yeah, Flashpoint, Flashpoint Paradox. Paradox. Oh, good. It's yeah, good. that one was awesome. Like the comic awesome. is even better. Um, okay. They, go into, more, the they go into more detail with uh, Thomas and Martha. Um, okay. Their story arc. Uh, Martha. And it's it's they, they 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 hit on a lot of that stuff a lot better. Um, and it gives it more time to develop in the comic. Um, mm. And the ripples are huge for what he does that in right. the comic. Uh, right. Like, they're still feeling uh, the effects of the Flashpoint. Like, Wally West just got back, like, the last couple years, over, like, two years. Because he was erased from existed from the Flashpoint. No one knew he existed. Um, and then he finally came back. Um, so now there's two, there's technically two Wally Wests. There's Wallace West, um, hmm. based off of the Wally West from CW. And Wally West is the original red-headed Wally West from the comics. Hmm. So there's two Wally Wests. And then there's a Wallace rest West who... I'm just kidding. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> and then there's a William West. And... But like... And that's the yeah, other they're thing. all related to Cotton, yeah. Well, and, and the other... <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Wanda. Full circle. <laughs> but no, that's one thing I didn't like about that season too is like after that season, Wally is just background. You created the kid flash into background noise. They basically they they basically write themselves into a corner, especially with the flash. So like they, they push him for the first season to become the fastest, then he becomes the fastest and does these crazy stunts, and then by the, the start of season one, I mean season two, he's like, uh well he's not really that fast. He can get faster and then he gets faster and faster, but then he's still bogged down by these these stupid rules that the show is trying to do so that they can keep this this sense of sus suspense when yo listen i'm sorry slight spoiler no you said slight spoiler slight spoiler you said slight spoiler you said slight spoiler slight spoiler he we spent an entire <laughs> episode of him <laughs> <laughs> one second <laughs> okay. uh, and Lucifer, the fight between Quicksilver and Flash, uh, Death Battle does it. They do a great job. I believe Ooh. Flash comes out on top. Just because Flash is overpowered. Is Flash. Yeah. Well, no, I think it was because he had Speed Force, right? Like, I yeah, think Speed, the force, speed force as well, and the fact that like Flash is undeniably faster. Like. Just with the feats that the Flash has accomplished in the comic he, compared to Quicksilver. Yeah, he did outrun, like, death, yeah. the <laughs> idea and concept. And then, like, I think he was, yeah, I think he was running, like, at so fast that they had to create a completely new, new scale. For yeah, how, like, he was running at, like, a plankton for a second or something like that. Like, some, oh. He runs it was... stupid fast. <laughs> like, it's, 
but death battle breaks it down really well which is why i love watching death battle they break that shit down so well i don't know like my problem with death battle is i feel like sometimes they hit it on the a nail on the head but then other times it's like what did you do in this fight like this fight doesn't make any sense especially some of them where it's just like you real like when they go through their power list and you're like why are these two fighting this is yeah that is that pisses me <laughs> Oh, uh, why are these two fighting? You mean the entire story behind Batman versus Superman? Yeah. <laughs> the entire movie. Um, but no, what are you saying about the show? Spoilers. Oh, um, what I was saying was, um, we spent an entire episode with Barry in Speed Time, I think he called it. Oh, yeah, that episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where well, they're defusing the bomb. Went off. And, like, right. He's the nuke was going to go off he had seconds the nuke had already gone off and he still diffused it like he was moving that fast as it's exploding so you're doing all of that and then you're still the same dude that gorilla god can shoot a dart at you and you get knocked out like right and it's not the first time that's ever happened to you or like so you have this super fast character and they just box themselves in the corner because it's like technically Barry could just run up on people and just like finish things in seconds. But like the great thing that the comics does is you have to add different things. Like there are situations like I think it was where somebody said they planted a bomb and he was searching like every block. But the point was to get him to search every block so that they could get their other plan done. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, like you, those kind of things is how you write it smart. But the Flash in the comics is more about his mental ability to surpass his opponent. Like, and as fun as pep talks are, yeah. not every episode. Run, Barry, run! <laughs> what? Okay. Like the first time, second time, fifth time. You know it's you know coming that? every time, too. Because, <laughs> like, it's suddenly like Barry's like, I don't know what to do. And, like, now it's like, so, like some random person in the team could just be like, run barry run and you're just like jesus christ come on like it was it was <laughs> yeah, cool and, they're just getting audience members at this point just you know just come on come say it just also, say it i love how they they they, they don't want to get rid of uh tom cavanaugh yeah. and i love him <laughs> they just do everything in their power to keep him on the tv show they're like yo we have alternate earth um we have alternate earth uh wells so yeah we're just gonna keep bringing him on and we're just gonna have him <laughs> act in different roles and then i love how we have um we have he's so good in every role that he plays oh he's fantastic Eobar, e- Eobar Thon has his own character who plays him and they still have his face over yeah they still cast they him as the Harrison him. Wells version no. of Eobard every time even, the only one they did it was for um what is it it was for uh for the cro- one of the crossovers recently one of the crossovers they, he, and for he, um uh uh legends yeah legends. which I don't understand they because don't they all shoot at the same time anyway? They shoot in, like, yeah. Vancouver or whatever. <laughs> That's and probably like, why they're... they couldn't pull him over all the time, because he's shooting on the Flash. They're so like, you know what? We'll, we've got two actors for Eobard. Let's do this. <laughs> Listen, they literally could just put his face, like, right up to a monitor and then have, like, his jaw, like, move, and then he records the lines in, like, a, in, like, a, a booth later on while he's recording his, his movements in uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Like, because <laughs> literally the same speed, you just stand in front of the thing, Run, Barry, run! He's <laughs> just like a, like a little puppet jaw just moving back and forth as he says run. Barry, run. Yeah, I feel like that's almost as common as like IT. It's like, hello, if you try turning it off and on, it's like the same catchphrase. Honestly? I can do this all day, man. Honestly, yeah. the, Shut the, up! The, the thing that's is, different! <laughs> the thing is, does Barry win? Yes. Um, it's just, America's ass. Barry has, Barry has a <laughs> mental breakdown? Check. Barry needs motivational speech? Check. Check. Barry, Barry wins the day? Check. <laughs> Start, re- repeat at step one. Like, every <laughs> single time, like, it went. Like, then. <laughs> you forget about B Prime. Barry loses the day, has another crisis, needs another pep talk. Barry wins the day. <laughs> repeat. Run. Barry. That's like the last yeah. three episodes of the arc. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. I, it just gets it just gets to a point where it's just like it's too much you can't just keep regressing a character over and over and expect people to be like huh and then it's I feel like if we had less set pieces and they were just better set pieces I'd be like okay nice well, but like I feel like they tried arrow you know arrows had that same problem 
entire yeah. run since like there's like they've they peak season two was their peak season three and four weren't bad season five ended and it was like okay we're continuing um and season six is where i fell off it's like season six just like the plot line i started watching i'm like okay <laughs> Well, you could really tell that they changed Arrow to like season two. Like it was like dark at the first season. Oh, no, but I love that about it. Yeah, Honestly, it was good. It was. I thought it was better, that but was it was definitely one know. of my favorite things. See, I want to mind like, him still, like early on. I still want to mind him being more like his comic self, being a little bit more. I don't know. Funny and like. Yeah, a little bit more lighthearted with the dark scenarios, because that is what right. Oliver Queen is in the comics. He's dark scenarios with humor. He's right. Batman with smiles. Oh yeah. I think he's Batman with Spider-Man stuff. Like, yes. yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. I think, like, the biggest problem with that is, like, one, if you're casting anybody, you can't cast Steve Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell is not the... is like, Chris Hemsworth as Thor in Thor Ragnarok is, I would picture, what, what, um, what Green Arrow... Yes, that's Green Arrow actually a been. great way of putting it. Because you have that, like... You have that that funny like self doubt and like kind of comedy back and forth, but like he's also very strong and like a a uh mm, what is it? like a very strong character. Yes. So he knows like he's strong, but like you still get these like moments of uh just just awkward and like sometimes funny and like if Chris Hem Chris Hemsworth was playing Green Arrow and told like a joke, like I'd laugh. Like but like I would also be like that was a really awkward and like corny joke. Like, and, then and they've done even... that. That's part of the problem. The humor never landed yeah. in Arrow. Like, it was funny mm -hmm. from parts, but at the same time, you're like... <laughs> when they try to let Stephen Amell cut loose and, like, make jokes and, like, be kind of funny, it lands weird. And it looks it looks weird on him. Like, the series brooding, like, oh, stabbing people with my arrows and, like, running around. And that that was him at his peak. And those mm -hmm. those kind of scenes were amazing. But until, I also, like, I, I also do... I will admit, as someone who's watched since the beginning, that part of the problem of the show was that it was very much like they were just trying to do Batman light. Oh, true. Right. Um, no, well, I mean, it, it, that's basically what Green Arrow is. Batman they didn't light. have the they didn't have the rights to do it at the time, which was awkward. Cause... Yeah, it's still awkward. I will say. Yeah. DC was very scared at that time to take risks with anything, like. I don't. I'm pretty sure Marvel has the same rule, but Marvel, for the most part, will lend. They basically were. Oh, yeah, I think I think Marvel does have the same rule. I'm outside of. I guess they they're connected. Yeah. But I th I think they share minor characters. I've never seen them share any major characters. Um, Lady Sif has gone on to Agents of Shield, and the only other crossover I don't. Well, spoiler ban has been lifted, so I can't say who was in. The, uh, the new Endgame, it was Jarvis from yeah. Agent Carter. Oh, yeah. But that he's was, the, only, yeah. He's the only character from any of the TV series yeah, that was an original it, it character that has made it to the big screen, which is awesome. Um, but, uh, it like, they have it very set up so that the movies don't affect the TV shows too much. So that the TV mm -hmm. shows can still do their own stories, but still have little lines connecting them. Yeah. It's yeah. Well, like, you know, like, I like watched Luke Cage, you know, and it's like, you have the Battle of New York, and you hit that, yeah. all that stuff is referenced, you know. Like, the guy with the, the camera, like, he's like, yeah, get the Blu-rays, you know? <laughs> like, he's, yeah, like, like, yo, he's selling it, yeah. All those shows. Yeah, that, that does last suck. Season uh, yeah. <laughs> yo, last season of Jessica Jones. Yo, last season of Jessica Jones and Punisher. We're about to get Punisher, uh, already, oh, yeah, wait, I think they've yeah. already canceled Punisher. I, I don't think we're going to get the first yeah. season, unfortunately. But yeah. I will say, you know what they could do? Hear me out. Wait. Oh, did you hear the news about Ghost Rider? Yeah, dude, I can't they're wait. Are they getting? The, are they? Uh, get, no, they're not recasting him, are they? No, 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 they're not. They're not. Thank so God. what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, they're not recasting him, but he's a different Ghost Rider. So it's the same actor from Agents of Shield, but when he's played in the TV show, it's going to be like a completely new, okay. new story. Okay. So I, I would almost like, want them to still be connected to Agents of Shield because like I, that was he's honestly like especially right now in the comics too, he's my favorite version of Ghost Rider. Mm. Um, because like in the comics he's still a kid in high school as Ghost yeah. Rider with this badass car, um, and he's with the Avengers. Like Captain America in one of the episodes when he when Ghost Rider gets to their new base, 
uh, uh -huh. which is a celestial that uh, Ghost Rider oh, can turn yeah, into a ghost celestial. He can drive the celestial. It's nuts. Um, but when he gets there, Captain America's like, did you finish your homework? And he's like, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm like, this is so awesome. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but if they do that, like, could you imagine if it ties into things more, too? Like, we start getting this new age. The, the only problem that I have with that, and which I, I like that they're... But then again, I see, I see what they're doing now, is... One, they wanted everything under the Mickey Mouse house. So... If you notice, all the things that they're coming out with now are going to... They said they're going to be movie tier. Like, the apparently the Scarlet the Scarlet Witch TV show, the Loki TV show, they're all supposed to be movie movie uh, quality, and they're supposed to tie in. Yes. Right. So, right. But those are all going to be under Disney's new service, right? So mm -hmm. the question is then, now with those Netflix shows, are you going to take those same people bring them over, but start and craft your own story so that you can get away from legal issues. I mean, the Bam. only, like, what? The only rights that they don't technically own right now, um, I think are... I don't, I don't know if they've gotten Namor back yet. Um, I thought they were trying to make a Namor movie, they just I didn't know how to I think they're trying to, but in. I think he's still under Universal. So it's the same complications as the Hulk used to have. Um, then you got uh, the Hulu stuff. Is technically they have the rights to that because Hulu's owned by they Disney own now. Hulu, yeah. Um, so they have all the Hulu stuff. They have all of the Disney Plus stuff. I think did they get the rights back to the Netflix ones, or is there like a hiatus on those? Right. Oh no 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 no! They they canceled them. They just canceled the uh, the plans. So did Netflix have... relieve the right re rights to them? Well, you see the way the the way the situation was. They they were supposed to negotiate for more more stuff. So Marvel negotiated how long the episodes were and those kind of things. So like they talked about the contracts for those things. Um, they just when they renegotiated for more seasons and stuff like that, they just didn't. They basically played hardball and just refused to to come up with a, a plan with them so they and then they got their their rights back because it wasn't they just had a right to just to, to make it and stream it for them so once thing was like no nah, we're, we're not really interested in doing this again they were just like because marvel 100 mm -hmm. especially with me with mickey mouse sitting back there oh! then will snap over everything though no, that's staying in yeah. their pocket they're never giving away their rights to anything <laughs> ever again i, I yeah, mean, which... blame them plus well, that actually does. I mean, think about all the Marvel TV shows you had and how that the Thanos snap would kind of affect those as well. That would be kind of hard to. That's to actually do what with. I'm thinking is, what if those five the shows from Netflix they have a five year jump? No, it'd be okay I with that. Know. Like, um, I would love to see more of the character of the world in the MC. And we don't like in this movie, we don't really get. Like, in Endgame, we don't really get to see that. We've never really gotten to see what happens to the world. We only get to see what happens to the characters. Right. So. Right. It would be interesting. interesting. Like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something to kind of handle that. Well, or something. Yeah, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is ending on this season. Yeah, like, but a show like that. Like, you know. A, is it yeah. actually ending? Yeah, they're or actually they ending on this season. Ending. They're so, ending this season. I remember when they said they were ending. They thought they were ending they last year. End. Just uh, ending, man. They, they were surprised that they got to like they they ended last year with a good art that could yeah, close it. Yeah, did really good. Um, but they were surprised they got renewed to do like a full send off season. Um, it's not uh, a full season; it's a half season, I think. Um, but it's a send off season, similar to what Arrow has. Interesting. Uh, with next season, like Arrow's getting a half season for its send off. Uh, cause um, I was seeing like, aren't they supposed to be in the crossover? Yeah. They, uh, end, Arrow ends with the crossover. Oh, okay, okay. Um, which will probably be Infinite, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earth. Um, so, a lot of people's prediction is that that's when, you know, bad things happen. The decimation too. happens. Oh yeah, just the entire, the entire, uh, Star City just, just, Boom, just implodes and there's just no <laughs> star city. What happens is a volcano erupts and it blows up the city. Then and then fight. Fortnite season 9 starts. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've said Fortnite, we have to call it there. I have to call it Sorry, there before we get into this. He called me a dickhead. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay. <laughs> Let me listen. All right. So. Hey, Dev, so... do you have a new command for a new Discord server? No, I haven't made that yet. Ah, oh, shit. You have uh, these made so that you can check us okay. out on YouTube. Check us out on Twitter. Uh, because, you know, that's where you can keep up to date with everything. Um, and we posted the videos for this two days later. Um, if I remember. Reed, you want to plug your stuff? Oh, um, OG Captain Reed on everything. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Come check me out. Um, we can talk about funny things like meth inside of a Lego box. <laughs> And that'll be all. <laughs> That's Ghost the stream right there. <laughs> what do you got, Ghosty? Where can people find you? Uh, same thing. Uh, Ghosty Duck. Uh, the O is a zero. Um, on Twitch and on Twitter. And I think on YouTube as well. I haven't really done much of my YouTube page, so. And, Steven, is it just... I, I, I don't know if you want to plug anything. Yeah, everybody knows who I am by now, unless you don't, but yeah, I'm Steven, I'm Street Tough, I'm everywhere, with that weird name there. It has a secret meaning, can you figure it out? Ooh. Ooh, spooky, scare, I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> and I'm your host, Dorky Dev, but you knew that. Be sure to- uh, Wait, I didn't know that. <laughs> who are you again? <laughs> wait, wait, what? this is a show? Anyway, make sure you follow us here. We got two other podcasts throughout the week. Besides this one, we have Critically Casual, our movie podcast on Sundays, where we go over movies at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and Third Player Optional Podcast, our gaming podcast, on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, and you can catch us back here every Thursday for the horror podcast. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful night.